Hello, everybody. Welcome to the webinar on Turbo Machinery CFD. My name is Radek Máca, and I am a CFD engineer here at CFD Support Company. I am really happy that you are watching our webinar, and I am ready to show you our flagship product called Turbo Machinery CFD, or just TCFD. First, let me say a few notes to this webinar. The webinar is going to take about a half an hour. In the first part, I will briefly describe our product TCFD. In general, I will show you where to find useful information about the software, uh, and I will guide you how to download how to download the software, how to ask for a trial version of the software, and where to find some test cases to be to be to to be able to to try it by your own by yourself well in the first part it will be quite general the second part during the second part we will deep slightly we will or we will dive slightly deeper into the TCFD software i will show you its functionality and its benefits on a particular case for today's webinar, it will be a radial fund case. And at the end of this web webinar, there will be time to answer your question. So time for your question, I will try to answer them. So please, if you have any, qu any questions, if you have any problems, any reminders, please write, write an email to us, to uh, email address uh, info, at cfdsupport.com and I will or we will in the future we will gladly answer all your questions so I will try to uh, answer your question directly in this webinar or if you if you don't if you are not watching this live stream so we will we will answer you as soon as possible so please do not hesitate to contact us well, so I guess we can start. So I will start sharing my screen. Okay, so start sharing, great. I will go to my web browser and I will jump to our web pages, which is simply cfdsupport.com. Here under the product menu, we can see directly this Turbo Machinery CFD. So let me let me start with a brief description what this turbo machinery what this turbo machinery cfd is so turbo machinery cfd or just tcfd is a unique uh, software based on open form and it was designed to a cfd simulation of all rotating machinery uh, well such as yeah such as axial pump radial pump radial compressor etc it can be run both in incompressible or compressible case. There are many options. We'll go through them later on. What is important, the Turbo Machinery is a complete workflow, CFD workflow that covers all the steps from really the pre-processing, so to creating the mesh over the simulation to the very detailed post-processing of the results. So Turbo Machinery CFD simulation can be handled both by from from the console or from the graphical user interface. So, what are the basic or what are the main benefits of our software? So, number one, we can say Turbo Machinery CFD has no licensing policy. So, which means that our clients can keep Turbo Machinery CFD forever and they can use it for unlimited number of users, jobs, or cores, and that gives their investment in Turbo Machinery CFD a permanent value. So number two is that the TCFD is fully, fully automated. This means that all the workflow from the start to the final results report can be run by a single command or a single click. And what are the next benefits? For for example, Turbo Machine CFD is open source, so it makes it easily customizable. It is easy to modify, and it can be modified to your own 
purposes to your own workflow. And number four, uh, it contains implicitly real tutorials. So for each machine, which DCFD software uh, provides, there is a real tutorial, so real preset case that you can run Im immediately and you can tune it to your own geometry, to your own machine. Of course, there are many other benefits of using Turbo Machinery CFD. And yeah, we will <clears throat> we'll show you later on during our next part of, of the webinar. So what is the next important thing? It is the CFD workflow. So you can find it under this, this page. So Turbo Machinery CFD workflow, workflow is managed by, is easily managed by CFD processor. So it is fully automated and CFD processor includes the templates for these basic machines. So for axial and radial pumps, for radial compressors, axial fan, radial fan, radial turbine, Francis turbine or Kaplan turbine. The when you see the inputs, it's just the geometry, usually in, in the STL, in the STL format. The turbine machine CD, the outputs is a HTML report. So each simulation perf per performed by CFD processor has, has its report. And what is important, the turbo machinery CFD can be installed both in Windows or and in Linux. So how where you can download the case, down, download the software, so we can jump to the download section. You can click on download software, and here you can download the CFD Turbo Machinery demo for Windows or for Linux. You just click on it, type your email address, and click on download, and it will start to download it. Great, right? and if you would like to use the trial version, you can ask for the demo license. So you will ask on this web page, and you just fill this form, and we will send you a license file to 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 run to test our software by your own for one month. And another another important thing is that you can download cases test cases so here are let's say here are a lot of lot of particular machines which you can test so today we will work with this radial fan so again you can just click on it and type your email address and download the case okay Great, so, well, we can now start to working really with our software. So there are many options. So for, for today, I'm working from, from Windows. So basically we can go, we can go to, to the download and I down, downloaded the radial fan. I can copy it to my working folder. Okay, I have already done it. And at the beginning, there is the, <clears throat> the inputs are just the input STLs with the geometry and the simple configuration file. Okay, this way. Yeah, so it's, we can say it's a short file with the configuration parameters. And basically, these parameters defines defines the case, defines the geometry, and defines the machine. If you would like to know all these par parameters, you can again find it find it on the web pages. You can go again to you can go to the uh, products to the Turbo Machinery CFD Turbo Machinery CFD workflow example. 
here I forgot to mention that you, you have here the step-by-step -step PDF. So if you go through this, <clears throat> it will help you to install the open form, install our TCFD software, both in Win Windows and in Linux, Linux, in Linux. Yes. Okay, back. And again, in this Turbo Machine receive the input section. Uh, you can uh, you can find a Turbo Machine Turbo Machine receive the configuration file. And here are all important parameters which can be <clears throat> defined and which can be modified for your own case for your own geometry. Okay, so the simplest way how to manage, how to work with Turbo Machine CFD is using, is using the graphical user interface. So I can just click, I'm using Total Commander, I, I can just click on the TCFD, TCFD source file. It automatically open Paraview and this TCFD source is automatically uh, read. And just click in on apply and here on this properties panel, here you, we can define all the parameters which uh, which are necessary for the computation. So we can go through it. First part is just the, the path to your configuration file. Here you define the coordinate system. So using origin and the axis, then some geometry parameters, you can scale it from millimeters or from meters. Feature edge angle, it's let's say <clears throat> advanced parameter, how to Make, make the meshing process more robust. Here are physical settings. We can, you can check compressible or unchecked for incompressible simulations. Here are basic physical, physical parameters like dynamic viscosity, reference density, etc. Here you can choose the fluid name for fans or for example, for pumps to water. Here you can define molar weight and heat capacity. And now we come to, to the computation setup. So our software provides the generating of speed lines, more speed lines uh, within one computation. Here you can define uh, a number of speed lines. For each speed line, you can define a rotation speed. <clears throat> In this, the rotation, rotation direction follows the right hand rule. So if you want to rotate it, let's say now it is clockwise is plus uh, plus sign and anti-clockwise is a minus sign, minus sign. And for each compu computation, uh, compu uh, let's say for each computing point. So in this case, uh, there are three points defined. So each points will be computed for 1000 iterations, here are inlet boundary condition. So total pressure at the inlet. So total pressure at the inlet for each point, total temperature for each point, and other parameters like heat capacity ratio, turbulent ener uh, energy intensity, and turbulent dissipation. Uh, the outlet boundary condition, so Here's the special outlet van boundary con condition, <clears throat> which is developed develop directly for fans and compressors to generate to generate more speed lines in in an easy in an easy way in a simple way. Well, now we are coming to simulation settings. So we now our our software provides both steady state and transient or transient simulations. So for this particular case, we will use the steady state. Here you can define how many processors will use for computation. <clears throat> Here are some bounding tools. So 
to, to make the computation more robust at the start of computation. Usually a lot of these parameters are set uh, in a default way. So the default default value you, you usually is set uh, with respect to the best practice setup for each machine. Numerical order, you can switch between first and second order. Averaging window, so each uh, the solution is average uh, on the window of this size. So or last or each each solution is uh, is a result of averaging the previous 100 iterations. Initial conditions, initial pressure, initial velocity, and initial turbulent quantities and the temperature. Here you can simply see uh, the topology of your case. So for this case, we have just <clears throat> two components, wheel, the rotor part, which is, which is called wheel and stator part spiral. In this part, we can define the levels of refinement. So the finest of the meshing at each component, we will define a type. We can define a lot of types of boundary condition for each uh, for each part and 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 so on we can also also we can define for more advanced computation we can here define uh, a boundary layers for example if we clicking to the advanced to the advanced properties Let's say this. So here you can see the meshing option. So it is really advanced, <clears throat> really advanced parameters. So, so this this is set up. When we are done with the setuping the case, we can we can click on apply because if you change something, you have to always click on apply, and then. There are another plugin called TCFD Manager, so we can apply on the settings, and this TCFD Manager manage the computation. So it reads the input data, it creates the case, it set up the case, it creates creates the mesh, run the mesh, uh, run the computation, and do the post processing things. So we just click on write case. So this creates the open form case <clears throat> by clicking on the right case. And afterwards, the case is written. We can run the computation. We can using this button to run all at once, or we can just create the mesh and then run the calculation. So now we can run the calculation. So I guess this calculation will takes about 20 minutes. So I will uh, I will close it and here I have the finished case. So here we can see that all is finished already and at the end of the computation and also during the computation this this, this report can be generated and it contains all important parameters which is evaluated after the computation. So each for each machine there is a templated report with all important information about the mesh, about the computation and with the, with the evaluation of, of results. So we can go through it. <clears throat> so here are basic information about, about the case, about the solution, about the computation. Here you can see the mesh size. Here you can see the average Y plus parameter, which is important for turbulence modeling. Here's a wall clock time. So this computation takes 20 minutes at my laptop, which which is not, which is not so, 
or which performance is let's say really low i have used four four processors and the, the case was uh, computed in compressible mode so it contains <clears throat> it contains uh, values of efficiencies for each computed point it contains uh, figures with graphs of of the final final efficiencies and also it contains a convergence of of the efficiency so, so when you go on there is also the torque evaluation of the torque for each point the graphs for torque total pressure difference uh, the total pressure difference from at the outlet and at the inlet for each point the convergence process for for the pressure total pressure total pressure per each interface at the inlet at the interface between stator and rotor part and at the outlet so you can read the values or you can read it from the figures another part is uh shows the velocity magnitude per interfaces <clears throat> circumferential and meridional angle for each interfaces and that is all uh okay so this will be this is the report here you can see that the for example in this figure the convergence of the residuals in time so here you can see that there is uh there is a constant constant part of the residual is it is because we we have uh we have checked that you would like to check uh, or to use the convergent check so it is in-house implemented convergent convergence check if if the computation or if the efficiency and other quantities are converged so it means it is not changing too much so it stops the stop the simulation and go to the computing to of of another of another of next point so this can speed up the computation a lot okay so for now i we can we can go we can go to the some post processing thing okay so this is one post processing tool so it it is generated automatically and uh, and it can be access okay, you can access this html anytime because it is stored in the case folder Another option, another type of post-processing is is the vis visualization visualization of of the results. So basic visualization can be done within the Para view directly. So for example, in this case, so this is input STL geometry, and within this Para view, I can open new render window and here i can open i can open the computed case so if you find the file with the extension foam so this one you can open it and it shows you the geometry with the results so this is this is the, let's say the pressure at the beginning of computation so it is the initial condition and here you can click for, for example you can jump to the last step so this last computed points here i can rescale the data range and here i can see for example the pressure distribution along the geometry so this basic post processing can be done in the in the paraview which is uh, implicitly connected to the open foam and you can install it directly with open form but in addition we developed another plugins for more advanced post-processing things for 
accessing tools. So one of these tools is a plugin which is called Meridional Average. It is really easy to use. You just apply this filter to your case case foam to the, the case and and here you can see the result so it is really just meridional average so meridional averaging of of the impeller and on this you can see the average distribution of the pressure so it's really nice post-processing tools and another one could be the turbo blade turbo blade uh, sir turbo unwrap and the turbo unwrap manage that it really unwraps unwraps uh, the impeller into the into the how to say uh, into the box domain and afterwards you can make a slices which which represents really the radial coordinates in uh, between the hub and shroud and how to apply this you can really again you just load the case with the results and here you have to check check the internal mesh hub and shroud parts of the impeller so impeller hub impeller shroud and the mesh then you you apply the turbo unwrap so it is here and here you you will follow this property so for the unwrap mesh you will define the internal mesh so it is the part which which should be unwrapped and then for the for the algor algorithm for for this unwrapping needs to know what is hub and what is shroud so here you checked what is hub and what is shroud and and here you define the axis of rotation like axis and the point on the axis and breaks <clears throat> just define the cut cut to unwrap the impeller so then you, you will then you can click uh, then you can click on apply and make a slice for example at at 50 percent so it is here and it means that this plane corresponds to the radial coordinates to the relative radial coordinates between hub and shroud so this is cut in a half in the half between hub and shroud and on this slice you can visualize for example pressure distribution or you can use this surface slits <clears throat> let's filter or let's plug in which shows you the streamlines at this at this slice so it is really useful post-processing tool the surface slits is set up here and here you have to define the, this URL lids, which is which is computed using this plugin, and it is used for correct visualization of of the relative velocity in the impeller. Well, so I guess I showed you the basic of our TCFD software. So I think I can go back can go back well stop sharing okay hello I'm back again and I can check I will check if there is any question on my email well so I will go to my to the info email and here yeah here's one question from Daniel and he is asking okay I will read it is it possible to run a computation over nodes over several nodes in a cluster yeah thank you Daniel for a nice question I didn't say it and it is not dire it, it is possible okay it is possible to do it but it can be directly set within the graphical user interface uh, so when I go to the to the setting thing in this part we can set just the amount of processor to use for the computation but if I jump back to to our web pages 
and I will click on this configuration file well you can see you can see that there is a parameter using which you can define uh, names of hosts some name of nodes you you would like to use for the computation so I will copy this line or it's just the keyboard is the host so if I jump if I jump to our configuration file and I will just add okay oh yeah I have to open it in addition mode okay so I have some there's some broken file okay uh, run yeah radial fun case okay this is some somehow broken but anyway we just add at the keyword hosts it was here yes hosts to my configuration file and the name of computer so let's say node one node two and save it and this computation should be run uh, using the console so I, I will show you how to run the case within uh, even in the console so I will open from my desktop the open form for Windows in the console mode I I well I didn't share the screen sorry for that well so sorry for my mistake so again the host uh, it was here the keyboard parameter is the host and the name of the name of the host and you will add it to your uh, to your configuration file so just line hosts and the names of the hosts and then you will run it from your console you will jump to your working directory so for me it's radial fun and here you will you run the computation using cfd processor minus setup the name of the configuration file so in this it's a radial fun tcfd and and by typing all run it will run simulation great so yeah the, the file was somehow broken but in this way you can use the console console version of open form if you type help you you can get, you can see uh, the usage of the CFD processor in the uh, run <coughs> or usage of the CFD processor directly directly in console okay well so I will stop sharing my screen again so I think we are at the end so I am thank you very much for watching and if you have any question please do not hesitate to contact us we are looking forward for your question for your pro problems and we, we believe we can together we can solve any problems any any problem you have so thank you for watching and see you see you next time so bye